Today's random object. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And click the bell so you'll be notified of upcoming videos. Meaning near crested lizard, the name Parasaurolophus is derived from the Greek para, beside or near, saurus, which means lizard, and lophus, which means crest. It's based on ROM 768, a skull and partial skeleton missing most of the tail and the hind legs below the knees, which was found by a park field party from the University of Toronto in 1920 near Sand Creek along the Red Deer River in Alberta, Canada. These rocks are now known as the Campanian Age Upper Cretaceous Dinosaur Park Formation. William Parks named the specimen Parasaurolophus walkeri in honor of Sir Byron Edmund Walker, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Ontario Museum. Parasaurolophus remains are rare in Alberta, with only one other partial skull from probably the Dinosaur Park Formation, and three Dinosaur Park specimens lacking skulls, possibly belonging to the genus. In some faunal lists, there is a mention of a possible Parasaurolophus walkeri material in the Hell Creek Formation of Montana, a rock unit of the late Maastrichtian Age. This occurrence is not noted by Sullivan and Williamson in their 1999 review of the genus and has not been further elaborated upon elsewhere. In 1921, Charles H. Sternberg recovered a partial skull from what is now known as the slightly younger Kirtland Formation in San Juan County, New Mexico. This specimen was sent to Uppsala, Sweden, where Carl Wyman described it as a second species of P. tubesen in 1931. The specific epithet is derived from the Latin tubesen trumpeter. A second, nearly complete P. tubesen skull was found in New Mexico in 1995. Using computed tom tomography of this skull, Robert Sullivan and Thomas Williamson gave the genus a monographic treatment in 1999, covering aspects of its anatomy and taxonomy and the functions of its crest. Williamson later published an independent review of the remains, disagreeing with the taxonomic conclusions. John Ostrom described another good specimen from New Mexico as P. Christocristiatus Christo in 1961. It includes a partial skull with a short, rounded crest and much of the postcranial skeleton, except for the feet, neck, and parts of the tail. Its specific name is derived from the Latin curtis, shortened, and cristatus, crested. The, spec the specimen was found in either the top of the Fruitland Formation or, more likely, the base of the overlying Kirtland Formation. The range of the species was expanded in 1979 when David P. Weishample of James A. Jensen described a partial skull with a similar crest. From the Campanian Age, Kaiparowitz Formation of Garfield County, Utah. Since then, another skull has been found in Utah with the short, round P. Christocristatus crest morphology. These words are hard to say.